everyone welcome back to our channel i am disha sinha from team pmg and in today's module i will give you a brief about allergen management program and its importance in food processing and manufacturing industries in this module i will be also discussing about objectives of allergen management program followed by discussion on risk assessment which is considered as a major prerequisite before implementation of any risk management schedule and in the end i will discuss about primary elements of risk management program which acts as an essential tools for its effective application so let us now begin with the first topic that is allergen management program as you all know whenever mishandling of any allergenic ingredient occurs entire stakeholders has to face consequences who are involved in the food product supply chain consumers who are most susceptible to harmful allergic reactions are especially dependent on the industry's ability to identify process and market food products which are labeled correctly therefore there is a need for implementation of comprehensive allergen control and management programs by food processors in their facility for avoiding product recalls and to protect their consumers basically food allergen management program is an integrated part of food safety assurance strategies which is defined as a documented system that serves to identify control educate and communicate the risk about presence of food allergens in your business and it must include all stages involved in food production chain the main objectives of an allergen control and management plan is to prevent cross contact between allergens and non allergenic food runs then it ensures label accuracy by correct placement of allergen declaration on right product further it also helps in identification of key team members in an organization who are aware about the flow of material or ingredients throughout the facility and also understands the vital importance of managing and controlling these ingredients at every stage of food chain and lastly it also helps in avoiding major regulatory issues which may lead to various economical losses and damage to brand now let us move on to our next topic which is risk assessment allergen management starts with risk assessment which for allergens requires consideration of the likelihood that they are present at a minimum in the product so let us now discuss about the steps involved in risk assessment so first step in risk assessment is identification of procedures that are specific to allergen management second step is development of an effective allergen process flow diagram or allergen map which help us to understand two things that is number 1 where allergenic ingredients and food exist in the plant and number 2 where they are introduced into the process lastly allergen management plan must be implemented audited enforced and updated continuously whenever there is a change in the process or a product or whenever you hire a new candidate in your facility or when you start to deal with a new supplier section of this module i will discuss about seven essential components that are essential for implementation of effective allergen management program in an food industry so let us now begin with the first component that is personal trainings or practices human error is one of the major contributing factor for product recalls related to allergens therefore there is a need to impart training to employees for making them aware about their role in preventing allergen based contamination believe me if you are having a world class facility even you are also having a best error free allergen management program but if it is not understood by your employees mark my words it is never going to be successful therefore there must be a provision of conducting periodic training sessions and refresher courses for your employees in order to keep them updated about the allergen management program present in your facility 
Let us now move on to our next component that is supply management program. When it comes to allergens and other risks, a good relationship between raw material suppliers and manufacturers always promotes a good product safety. In practice, a food operator will need to ascertain that allergen status is fully described on raw material, packaging and labeling in the form of specifications and declarations. Secondly, they need to assess each supplier and ensure that effective allergen management practices are implemented and documented in their facility. For ensuring this, periodic audits can be made to their factory. Then, understand the allergen risk analysis from each supplier in order to apply the analysis appropriately and consistently for your products. Now let's talk about another important aspect of material handling that is storage. Always remember, warehouse is important parameter that physically segregate materials containing allergens from those that do not contain allergens. The best solution for this is to have a separate warehouse or at least two separate storage locations in one warehouse. The second important item when it comes to storage is to always make sure allergens are stored on the floors only. Transportation is the other mode through which product contamination can occur. Therefore, always try to arrange transport in such a way that products with incompatible allergen profiles are transported separately. If this is not possible, consider adding an additional layer of protection by inserting a padded cover to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. Then now let us move on to the next component that is production processing and manufacturing control. Verification of recipe during manufacturing of product is one of the important parameter for preventing risk associated to allergens. It is basically done for ensuring that correct materials are always used in the recipe. Systems are therefore needed to be designed in a way that avoid recipe mistakes. The second most important parameter is separation. There are number of ways available for separating the production of allergen containing products from those that do not contain allergens. Separation can be achieved by use of dedicated facilities or by use of zones for storage of specific allergens or, or it can also be achieved by using physical barriers between production lines. Separation can also be achieved by scheduling production runs in such a way that products without allergenic materials are produced before the production of products containing allergenic elements. Then the another uh, important parameter which is generally overlooked is rework. There must be a defined procedure in place for the handling of rework in the production. Ideally, the principle should be identical into identical. That is, 
rework should go into another batch of run of the same product for example oil used for cooking allergenic foods like shellfish or breaded or battered product should not be used for cooking products that do not contain allergen without undergoing a validated filtration step one of the most important steps in preventing allergen cross contamination is an effective cleaning and sanitation program existing cleaning practices that seems to be satisfactory for other microbial contaminants may not be sufficient for elimination of allergen traces therefore dedicated protocols including information like chemistry equipment and time are required and should be documented and made available to all personnel involved in the cleaning and sanitation process once parameters of cleaning and sanitation plans for preventing allergen contamination are in place then this program must be validated the objective of cleaning validation is to prove that the processing equipment is consistently clean to prevent cross contamination of hazards between products in case of allergens validation must follow elisa test method next element for allergen management program is consumer information undeclared allergens is one of the biggest reason for most of the product recalls the single biggest mistake is misinterpretation of information either by not having the correct information about the recipe or by applying the wrong label to the product in both cases it is customer who receives the wrong information related to allergen profile of the product which in turn put its life at risk let us now discuss some golden rules about allergen labeling firstly all pre packed food must have list of ingredients mentioned on it secondly all allergenic ingredient must be highlighted by either making them bold or by using contrasting colors or by underlining them lastly language used for la labeling must be readable and easy to understand by the people consuming it now we will discuss about the types of allergen declarations which are mentioned on the label containing allergen products basically when we speak about declarations associated to allergens it can be broadly divided into three categories first type of declaration is allergen advice statements these are used on the product labels to explain how allergen information is presented on a label for example just look at the first picture on your screen warning is written separately on the label below that it contains egg milk and wheat second type of declaration is precautionary declaration this label is applied when there is a risk of food product being affected by allergen cross contamination for this following statements are used such as may contain x allergen or not suitable for someone with x allergy third category is free from type declaration these are special ranges of foods that are made without allergens if a label states that your product is either free from milk or it is peanut free then it has to be based on some specific and rigorous controls these controls needs to ensure that the final product is completely free from the particular mentioned allergens in your product label lastly we will discuss about documentation system efficient and accurate record keeping is critical to the application of allergen management within a food safety program a simple record keeping system can be effective and easily communicated to employees it should be integrated into existing operations using existing paperwork such as delivery invoices and checklists to record allergen status 
a record of the risk management program should be retained with the risk assessment to demonstrate due diligence now with this we came to the end of this module if you find this module useful then request you to kindly like share and subscribe to our channel thank you and have a good time